Hello, welcome to Contabile. In this first video, I thought I would give you a brief introduction to the program and show you how you can input the sound of your external keyboard through a simple VST effect. If you've ever had a chance to work with a program like VST Host, then you're probably familiar with the idea behind this program. It works much the same way in that it allows you to load up your virtual instruments and your VST effects uh, directly within the program here. Uh, you don't need a full-blown digital audio workstation to uh, work with your, your instruments and effects. And now the version I'm using here is the light version. If you go to CantableSoftware.com, you can download it from there. Of course, you can check out all the different features that are available in the other versions as well. Uh, once it's installed on your computer, you do need to set up a few things. A uh, couple different ways we can get to our options pages. We've got a setup tab here. And these buttons allow us to go directly to that particular option page. We can select also uh, the main icon up there in the corner and choose Cantable Options. And that will also take us to the option page. Uh, the first one we're going to set up is our audio engine. Uh, we just want to make sure that we select the appropriate driver for our sound card. Uh, if you're not sure which one to select, then choose the one that has ASIO somewhere in the title. Um, if you don't have any uh, that say ASIO or ASIO anywhere, uh, then you might want to think about installing a third-party ASIO driver. You can check out the, uh, the user guide for Cantable, and it does make reference to uh, an ASIO for all. It's a third-party driver that, that may help uh, with your performance if you're having uh, issues in terms of uh, the performance you're getting uh, with the program, uh, selecting an ASIO driver will, will almost definitely help. Uh, so if you don't have one available, then you might want to uh, just look into that uh, ASIO for all. And now you can come down to assign the audio channels here. You just want to make sure that the inputs and the outputs are set up correctly. Uh, my particular uh, card, uh, sound card uses the SPDIF uh, inputs for my keyboard, so I'm just going to make sure I've got the SPDIF left and right uh, selected here. Uh, one of the nice features about Cantable is it does allow you to uh, to route your uh, your sound to a lot of different channels. So uh, just make sure that you've got uh, the channel that you want to use selected here, so that when you come to the output side here, you can uh, make sure that that is checked. In my case, I've been using the front left and the front right channels. And uh, once those are checked, you just want to make sure that uh, it's also going to be set up to run out the uh, the appropriate audio output. You can come down to the MIDI devices, of course, and select the appropriate MIDI driver for your hardware. And then under the plugin options, you just want to make sure that uh, you've set up a, the appropriate folder uh, so that Cantable can uh, find your, uh, your VSTs. Now once you have uh, the program set up, you can come back and uh, select the Home tab, and you'll be looking at the main screen here again. Now uh, there's always going to be at least one rack uh, set up for you. Uh, but before we uh, insert any plugins into the rack, I just want to make sure that I can get the sound uh, into the program. So I know that the uh, the drivers are set up uh, correctly. So when I play the keyboard, I can see the MIDI activity light is flashing down there, and I can see that the the keys are moving, but I don't hear anything yet. So I do need to uh, do a couple more things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is come up here, and where it says input, I'm going to check that box. So that just enables the audio input. It allows the sound uh, to come into Cantabile. So now when I play the keyboard, I can see that the level meter is moving, so Cantabile knows the sound is there, uh, but I'm not hearing it yet. So the last thing I need to do is allow that sound to come into the rack. So there's a couple small icons over here next to where it says Rack 1. And if you're not sure what the icon that does, you can just stop and uh, let the cursor sit over it, and you'll get some pop-up help. And over here, right next to where it says Rack 1, there's an icon that says Input Connect. And that's uh, how we actually connect uh, the audio input uh, to this particular rack. So when we select that and now play our keyboard, now we can actually hear the sound finally. So now that we've got the sound coming into that rack, we can start working with some plugins. So I'll uh, click on New Plugin. Now, Cantabile does a real nice job of organizing all of your plugins. So um, if you've got a lot of them, uh, then it'll be helpful to have them already kind of split up into effects and instruments. So I'm going to choose a, a simple uh, reverb effect here. And now I'll play the keyboard one more time. And I can hear that the, uh, the sound of my keyboard is now going through the plugin. And that's uh, basically it. If uh, you just want to get uh, the sound of your uh, keyboard in uh, to the program and use uh, a plugin on it, it's as simple as that. Now, some of the other things uh, that you can do with it in the program, of course, is there's some uh, icons here that allow you, of course, to uh, bypass and mute uh, this particular rack and and um, suspend and mute uh, the plugin. And and we'll talk about uh, the differences between those. Uh, some of the more subtle. Uh, features of the program in future videos. 
But um, of course, you can uh, choose whichever uh, program you want that, that's associated with that particular plugin. And of course, if you need to see the the plugin again, you can just click on the Edit button, and that'll uh, pop the the main window for that plugin back up. And uh, some of the other features you can um, see are are pretty self-explanatory. You can kind of experiment with uh, the dry and the wet and the pan, of course, and kind of see how it it affects your um you know your sound. So. Uh, other than that, uh, everything else is, is pretty simple. It's got a, a metronome. If we uh, click play, uh, that'll start our metronome. Of course, we can't hear anything yet because we do have to select the volume checkbox over here. That's what actually enables the, the metronome sound. Uh, but uh, that's how you can work with a metronome. And um, hopefully, um, this has been pretty helpful in getting you started with Cantable. Uh, the next video that I'm going to make will show you how to work with virtual instruments uh, using multiple racks and multiple effects.